It's been many years since NZG has made a model of a Schwing concrete pump. Then in 2017, the snappily named S43 SX Mark III appeared at the Nuremberg Toy Fair. It comes in a nice Schwing branded box and inside the model sets a high standard for packaging. In addition to the soft paper, there's pieces of foam rubber that you can enjoy squeezing. Out of the box there's the model and a couple of lengths of plastic hosing, and a bag containing some parts. To get the pump on the road there's not much to do other than to put a cover on the hopper at the back. Remember, if you want to support the Cranes Etc team, you can do so over on our Patreon page and the link is in the video description. Looking underneath, the chassis is typical NZG with most parts modelled in metal, and it's nice to see full detailing including tanks and wheel chocks. The AWOX cab looks nice enough in the white Schwing colour scheme, but there's no number plates because this is a generic vehicle. The wheels look good and you can just see a wheel chock behind the metal sidebars. And at the back the details look good with paint highlighting. The outrigger beams are metal and the front ones are interesting because they've got the distinctive curved swing shape. And the pistons at the end are standard screw threads. The detailing in the area of the pump is very good, with soft hydraulic hoses adding to the realism. At the back, the feed hopper has a nice grill. A particularly good aspect of the model is the hydraulics detailing, and that includes pipework within the casting and soft hoses. Schwing is originally a German brand, so let's try it out on the Cranes Etc Autobahn. And it's a very smooth roller, in part because of its heavy weight. There is steering on the linked front axles, and the angle you can achieve is great, so you can get a really tight turning circle. Alright, let's get pumped up so we can do some pumping, and we'll start by making ourselves steady. The front curved outrigger beam pulls out smoothly, and at the end the piston can be lowered by unscrewing. Moving to the back, the rear outrigger just folds out and you lower the pad in the same way. Included with the model are no less than a dozen small spreader plates. They are plastic and we'll just stack three up and place it under the front outrigger. They are a bit slippy so they move easily, but once set up and posed they should be okay. And the outriggers can hold the model wheels free. Okay, now it's time to get our boom up. And all of the hydraulic rams on the model have a decent level of stiffness so they can hold poses. It's a five section boom and it's quite complex but the model engineering is good, so you can replicate the movement of the real machine. The whole of the placing boom is on a turntable so you can rotate it to get the placing hose wherever you want it, and the model is stable enough even with the boom stretched right out. When you open it up quite a big model results, and it would look quite impressive on a dinner table dispensing tomato ketchup or mustard. At the back the hopper lid has two positions, it's not hinged, but you can pose it either open or closed. And a nice touch is that the rear light bar folds up so a truck mixer can get close. Talking of truck mixers, here is one and the chute is a bit low for the hopper. And the only way you can really deal with that in the model world is to have a ramp, although make sure it's more realistic than this one. Included with the model are two lengths of spare hose, but there are no connectors with it, so the Cranes Etc engineering team have come up with some cut matchsticks, and that allows you to form longer lengths of hose. So with a bit of care you can join it all up and get something that looks realistic. This is a very nice model of a concrete pump by NZG. The particularly good aspects of it are the detailing of the hydraulics on the boom, and the overall functionality of it is very good too. Concrete pump models are interesting and it's nice to pose them with truck mixers, and this one is very good. 